Oh my god. You know um, how it feels like with the bone? Hi, my name is Dr. Richmond Lowe and I'm the fishy vet. Today we're here to see OJ. Yeah, so this is OJ. Um, when we first got him, he had some, I could still see his eyes, but I think after three, four weeks, um, his head has grown so much that it co it's covering both his eyes. <laughs> um, so we're going to do the surgery today to just trim back the wing and so that you'll regain his sight. Okay, so we're just going to catch up OJ and put him into our anesthetic. And as he goes to sleep, he's going to sort of breathe a bit slower. How do you know if he's sleeping? Um, so he will breathe slower. He might lose his sense of um, his writing reflex. So he might lie on his side and he might sink to the bottom when he's fully asleep. And he will also, uh, before we start doing the surgery, which would be sort of cutting uh, into his excess flesh, um, we will be testing the pain reflex. So we'll be pressing the sort of the, um, the base of his tail. And if it doesn't flinch, it means that the anesthetic has um, has exerted its effects, and we're safe to do the surgery. <gasps> Whoa! He's actually floating on his side already. That was quick. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. So now you can see his gills, they're still uh, moving, he's still breathing, which is good. Uh, we'll just test his pain sensation. Yeah, he, he can still feel that, so he's still not fully asleep yet. Uh, but while she's sort of, um, sort of unconscious, uh, I'm going to give her some pre-medication. So this first one is an anti-inflammatory to prevent, uh, or to give it some pain relief for after the surgery. It's still a flincher, I've not done anything yet. So basically when you give the injection, mm -hmm. we have to have that part of the body out of the water. And then we just put it in there. And that's flunixin, anti-inflammatory. And this is long-acting oxytetracycline. It's an antibiotic. And that should give it some cover from bacterial infections. So you can see My here. It's a bit shaky. Oh, we're recording, yeah, okay. So you can see here, OJ's eyes are still there, which is good. Would this hurt them? Uh, the trimming, she's fully anesthetized, so... Later on, when she's... Uh, yeah, so that's why we gave her the anti-inflammatories. Oh my god. Whoa. And then... This one is, I guess, the skin is on the cheekbone. Mm -hmm. You can't really trim too deep. Okay. What does that mean? She's breathing. Yeah, so then what we'll do is we'll get some more fish anesthetic. And we'll just irrigate. Irrigate her. And then I think this side is done. So we'll just give some topical antibiotics. I just put some trimethoprim sulfur and this is the fish bandage which helps 
the antibiotics they forms a gel well. so and it will soak up the antibiotics and then so, so that's her left side we'll turn okay. it over to the other side On this side, it's a bit harder to find the eye. And you really need to have him fully immobilized. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it could um, damage his eyes. So a lot of people always ask me what the wind is made of, so I'm just going to get our client here to describe to you what she feels. So I've got her wear some gloves. Oh my god. You know um, how it feels like with the boba, like bubble tea? Bubble tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that boba. It feels like boba. Okay, cool. Like really hard jelly. Mm. It's quite heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. It's um, it is uh, quite a mixomerous tissue, so it's filled with um, like protein and stuff. Yeah. Whoa, that's really hard. Like two days boba. Yeah. Like two, two days old boba. <laughs> two days old boba. And then when we're recovering him, we just want to make sure that um, there are no tags that the um, trimming is nice and smooth otherwise the, it can grow back in a weird fashion so I would want to try them open their mouth to let the to syringe um, flow through basically if you put your thumb Gently near where the so the V is, so it will open his mouth, and you can syringe water through. Do so we'll recover her in a net so that she doesn't bump herself too much. What is that white stuff on her tail? On her tail, I think those are little micro fractures. It's right on the um, cartilage itself. A fracture. Yeah. Here's OJ, two weeks post-surgery, there are no signs of infection and he's fully recovered. As you can see, he's swimming around and feeding happily and interacting with his tank mates. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic week.